Of all the kids in the seventh grade at Camillo Junior High, there was one kid that Mrs. Baker hated with heat whiter than the sun. Me. And let me tell you, it wasn't for anything that I'd done. If it had been Doug Zwitek that Mrs. Baker hated, it would have made sense. Doug Zwitek once made up a list of 410 ways to get a teacher to hate you. It began with spray deodorant in all of her desk drawers, and it got worse as it went along. A whole lot worse. I think that things became illegal around number 167. You don't want to know what number 400 was, and you really don't want to know what number 410 was. But I'll tell you this much. They were the kinds of things that sent kids to juvenile detention homes in upstate New York so far away that you never saw them again. But it didn't matter. Mrs. Baker hated me. She hated me a whole lot worse than she hated Doug Zwitek. As you can tell, Mrs. Baker hates Holling Hood Hood. He has proof. He's the only kid in the seventh grade who has to read Shakespeare outside of class. While the rest of his friends go to religious classes at their churches every Wednesday afternoon, Holling and Mrs. Baker are stuck at school, and neither person is that excited about the situation. So, Mrs. Baker decides that they need to read Shakespeare together. Yep, Holling's pretty sure his, te his teacher hates him. But Mrs. Baker and her ancient literature are only a few of Holling's worries. For one thing, the class bully keeps demanding that Holling bring the whole class cream puffs. In addition to this, Mrs. Baker's pet rats have gotten out of their cage and are living in the walls. Holling's problems continue at home where his father is so wrapped up in the family business that he doesn't realize that Holling's older sister is getting ready to run away. Plus, it's 1967 and the U.S. is in the middle of a huge conflict in Vietnam. The final straw comes when Holling's baseball hero is coming to town the night that Holling has to appear in a play, wearing yellow tights. Seventh grade is really not turning out the way that he expected. It's The Wednesday Wars by Gary Schmidt.